The First Lady is a debut opera written by Dr. Kenneth Wells, a psychiatrist and senior scientist at RAND, who also happens to be a musician. The opera is based on the life of Eleanor Roosevelt, the unconventional First Lady and wife of former President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Colibretist Gail Patterson noted that there were not many operas with women as their central character and thought Eleanor Roosevelt would serve as the perfect protagonist for a positive female role model. We sat down with Dr. Wells, who gave a brief synopsis of the plot. Oh, um, just a word about the opera. The first act um, sets up all the challenges that Eleanor Roosevelt faced one after another. Some of them before the death of Franklin immediately and some of them after. So the first clip that, uh, we're, that we're showing is the beginning of her large first act aria, I Never Wanted to Be a President's Wife, which is literally you know, something that, that she said and wrote about. And it uh, reviews um, the pain that she feels over having lost some of the attachment to Franklin, but how she's, from his earlier affair, when they were uh, first married, to the to, uh, affair with the same woman, and, um, but her commitment to helping his goals. So that's the first aria. <laughs> challenges that she faces of course are his death which happens immediately which she hears about immediately after this aria learning about the affair um, uh, and the second clip is also from the first act and uh, that is a clip of a crowd scene people who are waiting for the funeral train um, in Atlanta where she had to step off and wave to the crowd and um, you hear them uh, praising FDR and um, and the uh, the great strain that this put on the country given that the war was not over and uh, immediately following this clip um, is uh, the end of that first act where um, she is learning you know dealing with um, his death and the infidelity while hearing the same crowd uh, sing their praises outside The second act is really how is she going to resolve this situation and um, uh, confronting her daughter over her role in uh, promoting the affair, um, confronting her own views of the woman that Franklin was having an affair with, and deciding, you know, sort of the turning point for her, this issue of the small turning point, is deciding that her own love was sufficient for her that you know, the fact that she was capable of love. And then that leads to, um, you know, all three women, the, the opera closes with all three women from their own perspective, you know, commenting on the importance of love. <laughs> 